Hi there, welcome back to ADSR Machine Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at some sound design using the drum synths in Machine to recreate this beat that we had playing for you there. There was 100% sounds from the drum synths in Machine, or they'll come with Machine 2.0. So let's start off by creating a new project in Machine and recreate that loop that I had playing for you there, show you some various different production techniques that we can use using these kind of drum hits and stuff. So for starters I'm going to get the weighty bottom end of the kick drum in there and I'm going to use this drum synth kick and keep it on this sub engine uh, and this is like an 808 drum so let's just use our paintbrush here and just paint in some kick drums there. And the great thing about these drum synths is, especially for this sub, is um, it's already tuned to G. So we could set G as our root note for this kind of drum beat and just tune all our drums to that note. So we'll keep this tune at 43. I might just pull this decay down a little bit. So when you're going to gonna be doing a bit of a housey beat, so we want a quite a nice kind of subby bass line in there as well if we were going to lay that down so I don't want too much tail on this kick drum and I can control the decay here quite tightly and quite accurately so I wouldn't have to use too much compression later on on this kick drum to kind of control that tail so much. I'm going to bring the decay down to around 40% pull this attack down because I'm going to layer this kick drum with a couple of other kick drums that might provide a bit more transient and punch so this one is mainly for the weight so keep the attack on thin I'm going to pull the amount down and pitch bend just pull the time down a bit this is like the pitch modulation of this kick drum And another thing I'm going to do, which is something I do with quite a lot of kick drums here, is I'm going to use an EQ and I'm going to cut some of those mid frequencies that can become quite resonant, especially on kick drum sounds, but drum sounds. So, and I'm actually, you can use the machine EQ here, which would be fine for this job. I use the Fab Filter Pro Q, just because I really like that paragraphic EQ where I can really see what's going on analyzer, preamp post, double click to select a band here and the beauty of this is I can solo this band and hone in on my resonant frequencies on that kick drum and then just do a little bit of a dip maybe just kind of notch out a couple of dbs from those mids and so with that kind of weighty kick drum set up we want something a little bit more kind of something with a little bit more character and attitude to kind of go on top of that so sound two slot let's go ahead and just paint some kicks in there and load up the drum synth kick again and let's change the engine for this sound too. Let's change this. Tronic works quite well. And what we need to do straight away really is add an EQ after this Tronic drum synth to just cut the lows out. Because this is just for kind of mid and high end energy on this kick drum. So So everything from about 300 hertz is getting cut there. And let's tweak this Tronic engine a little bit now. Let's just pull this decay down again. Don't want too much tail on there. Look quite nice and punchy. Pull the percent down to about 30. Again, note is G1, so it's in tune with our subby kick drum. And 
kind of like the sound of that how it is so I'm going to keep everything else the same what I'm going to do actually though is after the Pro-Q add some saturation and maybe just pull the drive down of that so it's a little bit more subtle keep it on the classic saturator or saturator mode you can try the other ones out but the classic seems to have a little bit more attitude And let's just bring the level of this second kick drum down a little bit. And let's go for a third kick drum now. And what I'm actually going to do in here, paint this kick drum in. I'm actually going to use a hi-hat on top of the other kick drums to just add a little bit of high-end energy to things. Circuit sounds quite nice. Bring the decay down. Play with the tune a bit. Sounds quite nice right down here. So we look at what else we've got tone as well. So let's sort this level out as well. Let's bring this level right down. So it's just providing a nice kind of high energy sort of high frequency kind of element to the kick that's just going to help it cut through a mix or kind of drum mix. Push up that dissonance maybe. Just adding a little bit of extra character. And something I could do here on this hi-hat sound is add a little bit of reverb to give it a bit more of a tail. I know we've taken that decay down, but I don't really want that sort of decay on, on the kick drum. But adding a bit of reverb to this hi-hat. Well, let's mix right down. Push some high frequency element back into the reverb, take the lows off. And just add a bit of width there as well. And it's not going to be muddy, we've not added any reverb to any low frequencies, we've just added reverb to that hat, which is mainly high frequencies, so it's not going to get too muddy on the reverb. So there's the kick drum sorted out. Let's go into sound 4 slot now, and let's add some open hi-hats. See, go for the memory engine, it sounds like a classic sort of 909 open hi-hat that. Play around with the tune a bit. We want a bit of decay on this because it's kind of like an open hi-hat. So we want a bit of tail going on. Color down, just thickens the sound out a little bit. Sort this level out. And we could add actually a really nice effect or transient shaping tool here, the Transient Master, which is a great little tool to use on drums to just increase the kind of transient or the attack in the open hi hat. really helps things get really punchy in there so and we can maybe just smooth out the open hat a little bit and add just a little bit of a kind of low cut on there Around about 100, 
So I've not got too much low frequency going on on that open hat. So let's add some, let's add another hi hat in here. And just add some kind of shuffly sort of notes in there. play around with this shuffly hi-hat we've got in here. Let's bring the level down. Actually keep this one as the silver engine. And push that tune up a bit. Sounds nice with a little bit of decay on there. Saturate it a bit, sounds pretty cool. Time to, time to add a little bit of groove to this loop that we've got going on here. So let's go to group level and in this groove slot here. A bit better. I tend to use a swing of around about 30%, tends to work for kind of housey drums for me. Go back to this hi hat here. What we could do here is we could, these two hi-hats we've got, we could assign them to a choke group. So we've got a bit of decay on this open hat. And so this, we'd like this sound to cut this open hat off when they're kind of sounding together. So we've got them both selected here. Let's go in choke group, choke group one. So now, That open hi hat is getting cut off by the shorter, kind of snappy closed hat, uh, which sounds pretty tight in the drum loop. So, okay, so let's move on to the next sound slot we have here. Let's start building up a little bit of a clap and snare to go with this beat. So, let's draw in some claps here, and this time. Gonna go for the snare drum synth. And let's just double out this pattern quickly. And add a little extra. kind of snare or clap fill at the end there. And I'm going to change the engine for this snare. For this pow, which is kind of like a little bit of a, we've got our dedicated clap in here as well. But this pow sounds like a really kind of like lo-fi sort of clap. So really like the sound of it and tune it up a little bit. there, take this decay right down. We tend to get more of a transient as we push this focus up. Bring this level down a bit. Let's add something like more of a snare now to give us a little bit more punch on that clap sound. Stick with Volt in there and then just... Then we can tune this to a G note as well, which is going to be in tune with our kick drum now. This decay right down again. Bring the level of this snare down. 
it's just adding a little bit of weight, a little bit of sort of tone, kind of mid-range element to, to that clap sound. Bringing a bit more punch in there. Let's push this colour up actually. So getting a bit more high frequency element in the snare there. Maybe do a little bit of low roll on there as well. Just roll with some of those lower frequencies. Sounding pretty nice. Let's go into sound 8 slot now. We've not really named any of these sounds. Should have named them as we were going along. Let's add. A clap in here now. So go for the snare drum synth again. Keep scrolling right to the end. And we get the clap engine. Which just adds a nice kind of like high frequency element, clap element to our kind of drums. Play around with this tune. Pull this decay down again. I like to play with the decay on these drum sounds, make them quite nice and tight and punchy. We actually got room here, so got a bit of reverb to these claps. We can actually do something quite cool here with the swing on this individual sound. We've applied some swing to the whole group earlier, um, but this individual sound wanted to apply some swing to this clap. And if I invert the swing, set an amount of around 34%, and check it to 1 over 1, so every beat this is going to occur. We're getting that clap slightly before the kick drum, slightly before the other snare, so it's a little bit early, which is a great sort of technique for kind of house drums, all sorts of drums really. Getting that classic offbeat clap going there. And I'm going to add a bit of stereo width to this clap as well. Uh, and I'm going to have to opt for something outside a machine here again. I just couldn't find any nice kind of imager really there, sort of a kind of stereo spreader. So use the Ozone 5 imager and this kind of mid to sort of high area, this frequency area here really I want to just boost the kind of stereo imaging on that, that frequency range so stereo wise push this delay up a bit push the bandwidth up Getting a bit of sort of spread there, we can increase that here by just offsetting this band. It brings that clap out of the drum mix quite nicely and also adds a bit of whip to our kind of drums and the kind of clap and snare sound. Okay, one final thing is maybe a bit of percussion. Add a tom in here. And of course, can go back to this drum synth tom, can tune this to our G note. Play this decay, tighten it up a bit. We've got all these harmonics down here as well that we can start playing around with. FM frequency. OK, 
Okay, so that's sounding pretty nice now. And obviously, with all of this set up, we can go to our group level. Start compressing these drums. Or adding a little bit of saturation. This time, I probably wouldn't opt for the classics, maybe a bit too rough on a whole drum mix. But that tape setting's pretty nice. Just bringing the drums together, just helping them gel a little bit. So, so yeah, there you go. This kind of tutorial is about looking at those drum synths really and just how we can kind of get into some sound design with these various different drum synths and the engines that we have and just the sound quality of them is amazing so it's a good one to just have a bit of a closer look at and how we can start building some kind of drum kits using these drum synths so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you found it useful any questions please get in touch and make sure you get yourself over to our website machineskills.com tons more tutorials on machine 2.0 software featured on there and hope to see you again soon, alright cheers, bye